I like that you don't even look anyway. for Alcar anymore. He's just there. <laughs> He's just waiting for me. Alcar is waiting for me when I turn return to the inn, and for some reason it doesn't surprise me anymore when I catch his eye across the tavern where he's been nursing a mug of ale, clearly oh, pouting. God, no, he's the Scottish one. I, oh, I, oh, yeah. You keep going. You keep going. That the pout disappears when he sees me surely counts for something, though the way his lips thin instantly makes me think perhaps not. He gets up, movement slow and deliberate, and I remain by the door for a moment, wondering if, hilariously, he's somehow trying to not scare me. Which of us is the one who should tiptoe? Hey. Give me a second, give me a second, I have to look this- I have to look this one up, I'm sorry. Go for it. In the meantime, I think it's funny that he was waiting for me. It is, like, I, he's always waiting for you. He's a little puppy. Just wait. Okay, I got- I got it as good as it's gonna get, it's gonna be bad. Alright, 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 hit me with it. Took you long enough. Was wondering if the bad shit got to you. That's not it at ah! all. That's not it at all. Wondering You're if the back. Wondering if the wondering. bad shit got. It, it's like Shrek. You have to be like Shrek. How, what's Shrek sound like? Uh, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Took you long enough. Was wondering if the bad shit got to you. I don't know. We're just gonna try. Do you need something, you stupid puppy? Yes, actually. Alcar rubs the back of his neck and gives me a critical once-over, frown deepening. Then he glances behind his shoulder at the sparsely populated tavern. The three or four people lounging about seems deeply engaged with their own conversation, but I nod in understanding. My room? Ooh. <laughs> Alcar short, scornful laugh. So your superior can come knocking on the door and get us not a chance. Well, then where are we going? Are you saying I'm trying to ambush you? He frowns at me, tail flicking and then going still, his voice low and steady when he answers. No, I'm not saying that, but I'm not keen on taking chances right right now. Tell me you agree. You agree. I guess, much as I loathe to abandon on the promise of a horizontal, not bare rock surface to lie down, close my eyes and try to even process the day, he's right. And if Alcar has any more information, any more at all, I want to hear it. I need to hear it. All right, then. Where? The woods. Yeah, of course, it's the fucking woods. Are you serious? The deep, dark woods where I just killed a youngling not more than a day ago? Alcar rolls his eyes. Would you prefer, prefer the graveyard where those damn Woodridge twins can probably hear every word we say? Not all the woods are dangerous. I would know. I live there. Now I ask that you trust me. No. Okay, I trust you. I incline my head in understanding and step aside, inviting him to take his leave through the door first. Alcar didn't move immediately. He stays where he is, arms crossed, and regards me with a strange expression. Not unreadable, but almost as though he doesn't quite know what expression he should be making. Is something the matter? You're one trusting motherfucker, aren't, fucker, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's me. That's me, I'm a trusty motherfucker. I scowl and howl at him. Everyone, while Robin can't say something quick. I'm back. I'm back, bitches. Bet you thought you'd seen the last I of me. I had thought that. How do I... Bet you thought you'd heard the last of my shitty Scottish accent, but you can't get away from no. it. No. You and your friends in this lovely little town aren't giving me a lot of choices. I expect another eye roll, a scoff, a dismissive wave. Instead, Alcar inclines his head, and there is something almost like guilt to his grimace. Let's go. Lunaris is brooms. Hmm? Brooms. Lunaris is cold and lonely shell of its daylight form tonight, and I have to almost run to keep up with how quickly, though sure footedly, Alcor moves through back alleys. The chill sinks into my bones, and unbiden, I wish I wasn't here. Unbiden. <laughs> Joe Biden, I wish I wasn't here. I wish I wasn't following a half werewolf into the dark unknown towards more mystery. Omen's confession is still ringing in my ears and do so many other things. Did you know that Omen is... Alcar shakes his head, ears flattening. Not here. It's blue. Another turn and we've stepped by... Dubba dee dubba die. <laughs> Beyond the village, village's bounds. Trees loom above us. Moonlight flooding through the bare branches to afford us some light. 
Alcar leads me a little further away until the roofs of houses are barely visible, then turns to me. A while ago, I got into a fight with one of, with one of your hunters. Hunters. Ugh. He jerks his chin towards the village. Well, not one of yours, I, guess, I suppose, since you just got here and all, but one of theirs. Some bloke didn't even re remember his face all that well. I was... Alcar pauses for a moment, rubbing his chin almost nervously, eyes narrowed, but then he shakes himself out of it and continues. I was... It was full moon. I... I had... I... I... An... Argument with my sister. Sister. Well, I hate this. I had, a uh, An argument with my sister. Didn't go well. This is just the chapter of us meeting everybody's family members. <laughs> Well, it's basically, the, it's the chapter of everyone tells you their backstory. Yeah, everybody's family. Except Ezra. Here's the thing about it is, I'm enjoying it. End of sentence. <laughs> <laughs> he grimaces at the memory. On, when I tra transform, when I'm upset, my control's not as, good as, not as good as it could be, but I know I didn't kill him. Would have damn well remembered that if you ripped the man apart with your own claws and teeth. But when I came to, came to, he knocked me out, I guess. You want that as in your annoying little gadgets. Your enforcer friends were already swarming over us like hornets. But I don't see the man. No blood either. I can't even smell my own. That doesn't mean you didn't hurt him. Alcar gives me a look. Okay, smart ass. The point is that your hunter friend vanished. Poof. They, the, the enforcers, dragged me off to their fun little dungeon and kept me there for fuck knows how long. A fucking week, I think. More. Speaking of trauma related to dungeons. And then they brand, brand me and they put me out on the street. Okay. Well, he just got in bed. That's not a big deal. Too dangerous to just snuff me, I guess. Given how I know Ezra and Finn and all that. Here's a question for you two, Hunter Robin. What, you, what do you do when a creature is hurt a creature hunter so bad he apparently isn't walking around anymore? I press my lips together. Nothing pleasant, I know that much, assuming the creature in question was allowed to escape with their life at all. In my experience, the brand is reserved for things that have a prolonged use. Or... Or creatures too delicately tied to the order of things to be freely snuffed, as Alcar so elegantly put it. But surely, if he has wounded a hunter so terribly, he would still have been in the dungeons. Perhaps Finn or Ezra parlayed for your release. But Alcar is shaking his head. They didn't. And correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but you want us don't to get retirement leave till they can't walk on two legs anymore. And even then... Well, there are always prosthetics. Alcar barks a sharp, bitter laugh and shakes his head, but neither him nor I find humor in it, I know. He is quiet for a moment, running a hand through his hair, messing with his clothes, fidgeting, nervous. I step back a pace to let him collect himself. No use pushing him for anything now, not when he's already so open with telling me everything he knows. I didn't kill that hunter. Alcar's frown is deep, but his words are as quietly fierce as they are pleading. I didn't. I wouldn't forget something like that, and I've... Enough to never do it by accident. Never. Never. Fuck. I believe okay, you. Okay, I believe you. I believe you. The words are easy to say, and easier still that they are true. I know, rationally and instinctively, that Alcar tells the truth. And I will make them believe it too, if you like. Alcar stares at me in response. No clever words this time, just... He stares, arms loose at his sides, surprise evident in his face. He stares like he's never seen me before. Is something wrong? Huh? No, I... He looks away, scratching at his head. Then he chuckles, sounding so disbelieving it almost hurts to hear it but at the tame, same time, so relieved. And I have to wonder how many people did not believe him. Not just about this, but about other things too. 
He mentioned his sister briefly and that he had a fight with her on that night. He's never mentioned any family otherwise. Thanks. Alcar grins at me and it's a lot less awkward that, than I figured it would be. You're welcome. I have another question as well. Were you aware Omen came from hell? Alcar frowns at me, then squints and snorts. Of course. Where else would they be coming from? The general store? Is <laughs> that what I meant? I hope he doesn't hear the sound of my teeth gnashing as loudly as I hear it, but the way his ears suddenly stand up and cackle, I know he's seen something. I meant that he is the son of the Lord of Hells. You were the, you were the one who didn't ask. You aren't giving me a chance to, as I recall. And why exactly should I have told you? Oh, by the way... <laughs> we've got the demon prince in town, he's easily spooked, but don't you worry about that because he's harmless? I mean, yeah! <laughs> like that would fly. He pauses for a moment to consider his own words, then shrugs. That was easy. He's secret to tell, and he didn't have anything to do with the mess that's been cropping up around here, including that fact. Besides, Ezra was the one who chose who chose to offer him a place to stay. Same as he offered to help me, help Finn, help anyone who so much as looked like they needed it. Omen came to his door asking for aid. Why would he be different than any of us? Than you, who we took, who we took in that night too. Okay, I get it. You love him. Chill. I was just asking if you knew. <laughs> I can think of a few ways a hunter might be different from all those things, but I understand. The spirit of it. Omen has stout friends in this town. And if I didn't misread the hint of protect protectiveness in Alkar's voice, some are more than just stout. I understand. Alkar inclines his head in acknowledgement, his eyes sharp, intense. It's more force than I have ever seen from him. Good. Then he chuckles and leans away, signifying that the conversation is at an end. See you Hold on, I had a thing I, 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 I had a thing I needed to ask you about the dungeons. Where are you going off to so soon? Back into my oval before the big bad vampire comes to scold me about staying out in the cold, of course. What else? And excuse my nosiness, but you look like you've seen some hell yourself. Not just the prince of hell. <laughs> I frown. Am I that obviously rattled? But now that it's been said, I do feel the building headache behind my eyes. Not from the ghost of James alone, but from, well, everything. Alcar is staring at me again, tilting his head this way and that, and making a show out of squinting at me. Mm. Yeah. Definitely looks flawed. Fit for our bed, huh? Well, don't stray too far. I might need you tomorrow. I have a plan, you see. A plan, hmm? Well, don't worry too much. I'll be a stone's throw away whether you like it or not. When you need me, you need me. Until then... He doesn't even give a fuck what it's for. He disappears into the tree line, as sure-footed as ever, and once again I'm left alone in this damn forest. I begin to make my way back to the wolf, my mind reeling again, as it always seems to be these days. Though I feel hopeful, my plan seems plausible, the little team of misfit helpers I've managed to assemble more than capable of carrying it out alongside me. I think. I smile to myself, feeling a little lighter. Then... a rustle. Something moving in the tree line a little too close to the edge of town for my liking. Uh... Advance. Or wait. Well, are we cowards? Are we cowards? Oh, what is it? I don't know. I advance because it runs away and I can't find it. If I wait, I can see it. I'm gonna advance. I step forward, my footsteps quiet and assured as I advance back towards the thicker forest. Another rustle, closer this time. Then it lumbers into view. It's hunched over and misshapen with long, gangly limbs that look out of place on its relatively normal-sized body. A single twisted horn grows out of its head, and I spot three eyes. The third seems new, underdeveloped, and it melds crudely above the existing left socket. What's fucked up? It's covered in patches of scraggly fur and scales, and in some places its skin is entirely burned off. An amalgamation of mismatched parts and pieces that look like they don't belong. Can I? I hope there's art of this. That cloudy, that cloudy gaze meets mine, and merely looking at it gives me a headache. A weak, demonic aura that makes my body beg me to look away. 
Then something hits me. Something that makes me hesitate to draw my weapon. I cannot place this feeling of complacency, of ease, and nor can I fight it. Oh god, I'm gonna get killed. Is this how my con robs are killed so easily? Maybe you shouldn't have advanced. Does it have some kind of power over us that makes us freeze, become immobile? Or is it the dull ache of familiarity that settles in my DAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
That's all that matters. I don't think it's all that matters. <laughs> they squeeze their eyes shut, worrying their bottom lip between their teeth. To think that something might have happened to you. To think... Okay, I get it now. A pause and then a smile. Laughter bubbles forth from their lips, an almost manic sound. When they open their eyes, their bright gates, gaze meets mine, and August looks happier than I can remember ever seeing them. I find myself smiling in return, my brush with possible death forgotten when I look at them, the sense that with them by my side, nothing can touch me. August? Forgive me, I just find it entertaining that I could find this way, I could feel this way about someone I've known for a mere week. Yeah, I, yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Um... Six months. Feel this way? Oh, this is, like, happening. Like, now. A single dark brow climbs towards their hairline, and the lightest flush appears on their cheeks. Like, I can't possibly imagine what it would be like without you here. I get it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Funny, because somehow I feel the same. Like, everything points to August. Like, we'd be unstoppable if we were together. Forgive me if I spoke out of line. I I know that was unprofessional. That's not what I was going to say. Flirt, flirt. Ugh, this game is chug a luggin. Oh, are we kissing? <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> this is happening. It's happening. happening? Are you going to kiss them? I'm going to kiss them. Are you going to kiss them? I'm going to kiss them. Go for it. Their boldness seems to waver when I step forward to see in between their long legs, the invitation too tempting to deny after their little confession. There are bigger things on our plate right now, but like, let me enjoy this, you know? That's how I feel. I can see the bob of their throat where they swallow, their knuckles bleeding white as they grip the edge of the desk. The room comes to life, and however jarring their unsteady magic may have been at first, I find myself becoming accustomed to it. Tell me to stop, and I will. Oh, that consent, though. <laughs> I rest a tentative hand upon their thigh. This game is going to make me say something embarrassing. I rest a tentative hand upon their thigh, and they shift in their spot. The unconscious movement, one of interest, not discomfort. I don't stop. <laughs> game of the year. Game of the year! <laughs> Game of the year! Game of the year! Fuck Game Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 wasn't Fuck even good. What? It wasn't this even good. Game Fuck everything. Year. I respect this game. Yes. I hate that slurping noise that you just did. <laughs> I reach to cradle their face in my hands, and it's hard to ignore the way they jolt in surprise at the contact, even though it was clearly anticipated. They quickly cool their momentary surprise, their lips parting as I tilt my head, moving forward so that our lips are brushing in the gentlest of kisses. <laughs> August's bright eyes remain open, and I wonder, really? And I wonder if they're unable to allow themselves to sink into the comfort of it, wondering how long it's been since they've been touched like this. I lightly brush my thumbs over their flushed cheekbones. Bruno Mars warned us. Huh? Bruno Mars warned us about this. I lightly brush my thumbs over their flesh. Do, do not. I didn't understand what you not, said. I said Bruno Mars warned Bruno us about Mars this. Bruno Mars warned us about this, yes. Why were they open? You had your eyes. Why were they open? <laughs> I lightly brush my thumbs over their flesh cheekbones, feeling warmth blooming in wake of my touch, feeling like I'm in a dream when they finally let go and open their mouth and welcome. Yeah! This is how you write kissing right here. Their fingers curl in the front of my shirt and they smile against my lips, sending my heart swiftly to its knees. Without any further hesitation, August kisses me fiercely, reverently, and with everything they have. The room brightens around us, pulsing in time with their fluttering heartbeat. Oh, that's romantic. I it's, it, yeah, it's very romantic. I pull away, but just enough to get a look at them. Their dark lashes kiss the tops of flushed cheeks, eyes still closed, lost in the moment. I w- They cut off my words, swallowing them on their tongue when our mouths meet once more. The kiss is more urgent this time, like August has been parched for decades, and I'm the only thing that could possibly sustain them. 
Their fingers seek mine, lacing together and coming to rest at their side. Everybody quit texting me at their side. <laughs> we break apart, chest heaving, and meeting August's vivid gaze makes my heart flutter. They're so beautiful, impossibly so, and they're mine. Woo! You can't see it, but I'm doing the Cabbage Patch dance. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna trust you. Don't lock your plants over. My, I'm not. I'm not. Very careful. They're mine. <gasps> oh! I anticipated change oh. when you arrived, but... I was a little bit... There we go. Oh. Oh. I anticipated change when you arrived, but... I, I know, I want you to say it too. Okay. <sighs> smile wide 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 nothing like this they shake their head squeezing my hand I'm smiling like a dipshit right now <laughs> uh, that checks for you you were unexpected I were unexpected I were unexpected I laugh because well yes unexpected is one way to put it Falling for my enforcer was never on the cards, but August is something I cannot resist. So, what now? Yeah, I saw the creature. We should probably talk about that. I saw the creature. <laughs> <laughs> that seems important. When I look at them, I see how far they've come. In such a short time, they found the humility and courage to allow themselves to be vulnerable. To question everything they thought they knew and take a stand. We're all frightened, but August makes me want to be brave, to dig deeper and uncover whatever secrets fester within. August shrugs, a gesture that looks strange on them. But they look... happy. We save Lunaris, I suppose. Everything is going to be okay. End of chapter four! What what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I am gay. I we 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 knew that. Yes. I. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably talk about the creature. We still haven't done that. I think you're probably gonna do it at the beginning I of the next chapter, dude. I want. I feel like, man, what could that shit be? Unless it's James and his fucked up eyeballs and his horns and his scales and his fur. It's James. I think James is dead, dude. I know, but he's in there. He's talking to us. It's fair. He's out there. It's, 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 I don't know, it's just a fucking big old monster thing. It's a fucking monster thing, dude. Big ass fucking monster know. thing, dude. I don't to tell you. I'm glad we remembered most of the plot. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a bit. I remembered it. I don't remember any of the jokes. I don't remember. I, I'm gonna go back and if you're watching all these this, voices, don't. and I'm gonna hate myself. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> you could be doing something so much better with your time. Go like study a foreign language. Yeah, I feel like keep your brain genuinely. If you're um, watching this, don't because I accidentally at, in that like fancy art scene made the like I don't even know how Apple computers work. Made the little bar thing show up, and then I didn't know how to make it go away, so it was just there, and it ruined the experience. You, you just move. You just for me, the, the mouse. Yeah, I moved it, but I moved it like off the screen sharing screen, so I guess it didn't like register. That yeah, no, that's not gonna do. Yeah, it. I moved it and I fixed it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. August. Hero. August is purple. August is purple. Yes. I. And Zendaya is Michi. <laughs> <laughs> Zendaya could play Piper, maybe. Zendaya could play anything she wants to play. That's true. Zendaya could play right. uh, this game right now. <laughs> now, if she Zendaya wanted to. Zendaya should play this game right now. Zendaya, Zendaya if you're watching Ooh, this, play this game. <laughs> Zendaya, <laughs> if you're watching this, which I hope to fucking God you're not, because I don't want this to be my first impression with Zendaya. Um, <laughs> she play this game. <laughs> 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 okay. okay okay yeah no everyone thank you for sticking thank you for sticking with us or coming yes. back yes whichever you're yes you're doing yes for this yes um we are gonna we're gonna try to be a little bit better hopefully 